In this video, we are going to learn about the flooding in Libya. What caused this flooding and how it happened? And whether it is a natural disaster or a man-made? We will discuss that as well. First, let me show you where Libya is. Here is Libya, sitting right below the Mediterranean Sea. Egypt is on the eastern side, Algeria is on the western side, Tunisia is on the northwestern side, and Niger and Chad are on the southern side. The first thing that I want to tell you is that the land elevation of northern Africa is gradually decreasing towards the Mediterranean Sea. That means rivers move in the northern direction and drain into the Mediterranean Sea. Now what happened is that on September 8th, there were heavy rains in Libya, especially in the eastern Libyan city of Derna, which is also a coastal city touching the Mediterranean Sea. Here there is a river called Wadi Darna. This river started overflowing. Now this river is a seasonal river that flows from the inland mountains through the city of Derna and into the Mediterranean Sea. On this river there were two dams, one the Al Bilad Dam and two Abu Mansur Dam. The purpose of these two dams was to protect the city of Derna from flooding. And as I said, the land elevation of northern Africa gradually decreases towards the Mediterranean Sea. Plus the northern part of Libya has mountains near the Mediterranean Sea. There is a mountain range that runs along the northeastern coast of Libya. It is called the Al Akhda Mountains and it is also known as the Green Mountains. The highest peak in the Al Akhda Mountains is Jebel Nafusa, which is 2236 meters tall. Derna city is located at the foothills of the Al Akhda Mountains. The mountains provide a scenic backdrop to the city. I want you to understand this. Libya is a very arid country and its infrastructure is not designed to handle heavy rainfall. These two dams were supposed to protect the city of Derna from flooding. But they couldn't handle the large amount of rain that started pouring on September 8th and the following weekend. Now the question is how did this rain start? How did the city of Derna receive so much rain? It is because of Mediterranean storm like Medikain. These are like Mediterranean tropical cyclones. Medikain is a name given to a type of storm that forms in the Mediterranean Sea and can produce winds up to 150 miles per hour and heavy rainfall. The next immediate question that you may have is, how do these storms form and how do they move? Now this is where you have to understand that any wind that has to form, it will form at a low pressure area and then move towards a high pressure area. Low pressure areas are generally formed due to warm temperature. And always remember the Mediterranean Sea water gets warmest in the summer months from June to September. The temperature of the sea during these months fluctuates from 26 to 30 degrees Celsius. And here is the average temperature in the capital cities of several northern African countries. All these countries share a coastline with the Mediterranean Sea. Now these are capital city temperatures. But then as you move towards the coastal cities of these countries, the temperature in the northern African cities is heavily influenced by its proximity to the Mediterranean Sea. The Mediterranean Sea helps to moderate the temperature in coastal areas, making the winters milder and the summers cooler. Now because of the temperature differences, warm air from the Mediterranean Sea can move towards the comparatively less warmer regions of Northern Africa. The pressure gradient is the difference in atmospheric pressure between two locations. Warm air moves towards the colder region and starts to condense and form clouds and then rain occurs. This is the entire mechanism. The Medican winds that hit Derna on September 8 brought more than 400 mm of rain to the region within a 24 hour period. Now that is an extraordinary amount of rain for a region that usually sees about 1.5 mm of rain throughout the whole of September. The Mediterranean storm that hit the city of Derna has been given a name. It is called Storm Daniel. Now this Medican storm moved toward the south side of the Mediterranean Sea on September 8th. The actual direction is east to southeast. The storm made landfall in the city of Derna on September 9, 2023 and then continued to move south, southeast towards the Sahara Desert. And this heavy storm brought heavy rain on September 9th and 10th. This heavy rain caused the Wadi Derna river to overflow. The two dams that were supposed to protect the city could not handle the heavy volume of water. In the early hours of 10th September, that is around 3 am of Monday morning, as the people of Derna were sleeping, one dam burst, then a second, sending a huge wave of water gushing down through the mountains towards the coastal Libyan city, killing thousands of people and sweeping the entire neighborhood into the Mediterranean Sea. More than 5,000 people are believed to have been killed and thousands are missing. 
Buildings, homes and infrastructure were destroyed and wiped out when a 7 meter high wave hit the city. You can imagine the strength of the water. Now in this entire scenario, the world started looking at this event from two perspectives. Whether it is a natural calamity or a man-made calamity. Now whatever that I have explained so far regarding the formation and creation of this natural phenomenon is purely a natural process. But the man-made aspect of it is being viewed with respect to the breaking of the dams on the river Wadi Derna. It is being said that a better warning system could have avoided most of the casualties. If you remember I said at 3 am early hours of 10th September, these two dams broke sending a huge wave of water down through the mountains towards the coastal Libyan city. You can imagine those who died, most of them were in deep sleep. Hence it is being said that a better warning system could have given some time to avoid most of the human casualties. But then we also need to keep in mind that early warning systems are not a guarantee that all lives can be saved. Always remember this point, dam failures can be very hard to predict and when they occur, they happen suddenly and with great force. So this is everything you need to know about the floods in Libya. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.